So I wanted to ask you, uh, Lance, about athletics. Back in the 70s, I remember reading an article in Sports Illustrated, I think it was, and that was at the time they would have a three or four page article, which I really liked. I remember really this good. article. Absolutely. Oh, you remember I do. that article? Oh, absolutely. Wow. I do. Yeah. So the, the article talked about the bobsledders and the weightlifters and how the Soviet and the Soviet bloc countries, I believe the plate was metal and it might have been brass or some other softer metal that was built with their, you know, their, their mold. Uh, it was actually, it was, it was acrylic. Acrylic. Okay. Yeah, hard acrylic. So my, my recollection of that article, and I, you know, I might have been 14 or 12 when I read that article, was that, you know, an athlete and anyone really for balance and strength that you, you want to have a bite that allows you to do that without harming yourself and to line everything up. Yeah. Uh, helps your TMJ, helps your posture, helps you with everything. So tell me if that was new news to you at that time, or if you had heard anything uh, in uh, your dental training about those uh, types of athletes. Yes. So the, 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 the physical side of the methodology side is you took a wax wafer. that was a horseshoe shaped wax wafer bit into it. Then that wafer was, we say in dentistry invested, meaning it was, if you will, um, put into a plaster, put into a jig uh, a, a container and, and plaster was filled in around it. And then it, the plaster hardened, you put it in an oven, the wax melted out and you injected acrylic or an acrylic mixture into that. So you ended up with a, a, an acrylic bite plate that fit to your teeth exactly as the wax had done when you impressed it. What this does is it, it allows in a sense, the, the psychology of the person to bite into this and essentially more readily relax your neck and facial muscles uh, in, a, in a comfortable fitted position. And that allowed the other muscles of the body to perform the job that you're applying to them in the course of hammer throws, discus throwing, javelin throwing, weightlifting, all this other, you know, quite rigorous um, demands that you're putting on the, on the athlete. It, it's, it's a little hard to describe to people that don't work in the field, but I, for many years on Tuesdays, I only treated people with jaw function disorders and working with this area was something I had quite a lot of experience in. Luckily, when I was a student at UCLA at the dental school, uh, William Solberg was one of our professors, and he was a world leader in the research that went into this based on a lot of research done by a guy at um, Ann Arbor, University of uh, Michigan Dental School, um, who was uh, a real guru around the world in this area. So it, it was something, it's a very real science in dentistry, and it's a very real um, malady for a lot of people who have joint disorders and jaw f function disorders and facial muscle and masticatory chewing muscle disorder because of the um it's almost always related to stress they clench and grind their teeth when they're awake or when they're asleep and develop muscle problems because of that facial muscle and, and jaw muscle problems and jaw joint uh, injury from that so what these bite plates did was, if you will, it's a bit hard to describe this, took the whole potential for facial dysfunction out of the equation when they were performing athletics. Um, you can analogize it to a number of different things, but that's essentially what it did. And it was a very real, had a very really real effect on people's performance.